I changed my mind. Let's build NCL3. Okay, so NCL3. So N, metal or non metal? What's that? Non metal or non metal, non -metal right? Non -metal. CL? Non metal. Non metal. So is this going to be a covalent or ion compound? Covalent. Covalent. Okay, so already we've started there. So how do we build something like this? What we do is we draw the Lewis structures of the atoms that are involved in this compound, okay? The other thing we got to think about is which one is going to be the central atom, okay? The central atom is the one that's going to be able to make the most bonds, okay? So if you think about chlorine, chlorine is only missing one electron, okay? So it can only make one bond. Nitrogen, on the other hand, is missing three electrons. So it can actually single bond to three different atoms. Is everybody okay with what I'm saying before we draw it out? Okay, so let's just picture these atoms kind of in that array with nitrogen in the middle. Okay, so nitrogen's gonna be there, draw its Lewis structure. One, two, three, four, five. Why do I draw them like this? So it can have spaces on each side to grab each one of those chlorines. Okay. The chlorines, I'll draw them normal like I'm supposed to. Okay, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> okay, so one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I keep switching the sides because I keep wanting to end up with a space closest to the nitrogen. So let's we'll see if I can do it right this time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now what are we going to do? Remember our fish hook arrows, okay? So those are the arrows with like half a little arrow head. So instead of the electron transferring, going from the chlorine to the nitrogen, we're going to have a meet in the middle. So like that. Can you see that? Like this. Like this. Okay. So, now, and this is kind of antiquated way of drawing it, but it's good for you guys to see for the first time when you do these kinds of things. If you want to think of them all as stuck to each other, like really stuck to each other, you can draw them in the old way of drawing molecules. So now you can see, this is a good way of drawing them for you guys when you're starting off, because you can put your hands over each one of these atoms and say, okay, that thing's got a full octet, right? See that? That one's got a full octet. That one has got a full octet. That one's got a full octet. Is everybody okay with that? Again, that's antiquated, meaning old-fashioned. So we're going to draw it the normal way, with bonds represented as lines. Okay, and if you watch these videos, I actually um, did one more step. We're not there yet. Uh, I used uh, Vesper theory to actually show, you know, why this kind of is in that pyramid shape as opposed to a T shape here. Okay, but um, the pyramid is the way it's actually supposed to look. Okay, but we haven't gotten there yet. So for you guys, if you could draw it to that specifications, you're good. Okay. So is everybody okay with each one of these atoms having a full octet? And why this is a covalent as opposed to an ionic compound? Everybody okay with that? Any other questions? Okay, cool.